Field of eight on the gate for this Grand Circuit tilt, the Champlain Stakes, second division. They're off and trotting all over again with the sharpest speed, leaving out down the center. Though Apprentice M is trotting out quickly now for McNair from the inside, Jordan Blue Chip will size up the pair of them from back in third. Off the speed to fourth goes one fine lady, going to tuck in fifth to swing at Kathy after a bit of speed. Then it's back to Atlanta, followed at the inside by Chow Dolce and the early trailer in the backfield, Shamrock Shaker. Here they come to the quarter now, and Apprentice M put all over again in the hole through a 28 1 first fraction. A gap of two to Jordan Blue Chip now from in third. And Waples just lost. Apprentice M popped to the outside. Now goes inside as others scatter around that one. So on that early lead, Apprentice M clear by two lengths. Back to now with the whip over the tail of Jordan Blue Chip. And that's her cue to march. And here she comes. Here outside is Jordan Blue Chip up after Apprentice M. Right there from third, one fine lady. Then fourth inside to swing it. Kathy Gap of two Atlanta from in fifth. Sixth inside, Chow Dolce. Gap of of three to Shamrock Shaker, half in 57 and four, trotting fillies of the freshman variety, wheeling into the final turn, and they chase McDonnell, an even money favorite Jordan Blue Chip. Apprentice M is right there, second with three eights to go. Gingras starts up the engine on a first over swing at Kathy, and McNair exits the pocket spot now with Apprentice M. Here comes Apprentice M to tackle Jordan Blue Chip in this third quarter. Jordan Blue Chip with the lead at the rail, outside Apprentice M, then on cover, swing at Kathy from in third, three quarters. 127 and two, a 29 and three third quarter. Apprentice M holds up the white flag for now as Jordan Blue Chip rebuffed her challenge. First up on that lead, it's Jordan Blue Chip. Apprentice M scoots up the cones now as Jordan Blue Chip drifts off the rail. Swing at Kathy Wade wide closing up. This is Atlanta. Jordan Blue Chip leads. Atlanta tries to get her. Atlanta with a late push after Jordan Blue Chip. Atlanta and Jordan Blue Chip at the line together in this Champlain Stakes thriller. 156 and one. One. Deja vu all over again. Champlain number two, same guy, same result, different horse. Atlanta, Rick, uh, take us through the trip. Uh, she was really good tonight. She post paraded really sound, and, and I was happy with her. She was comfortable being out there. Uh, she's a bit of a finicky little filly, and, uh, you know, I just I can't uh, say enough that she just, when she, I moved her coming down the lane, I knew I had a lot to come and catch Paul, and Paul knew I was coming. He heard me coming. I was barking at my filly pretty good, and uh, we went across the wire, and Paul says, you didn't beat me again. I says... <laughs> I don't know if I did or not, but I'm pretty happy. But uh, she raced really good, boy. She uh, she dug right in where she she had to, and she got the job done. Amazing, because she's not the biggest of fillies. You'd think she would do over a smaller oval, but the bigger trip seems to fit her quite nicely. Yeah, I tried. I said to uh, my trainer, Ernie Henry, earlier uh, in June, I said, you know, this filly, she's New York sire. She's just going to go around this, like, hoop around a barrel. And she would get to the first turn, and she looked at it and said, no, I'm not going to do this. So she kind of just let me know I want to be on a big track. So here we are, and she's doing her own thing. Nice spot to be in, winning both Champlains with two trotting uh, two-year-old fillies. I don't want to say is one better than the other, but they're both quite nice. No, they're both real nice fillies. I wouldn't want to say which one is better. And, uh, and I'm just happy for all the partners that are involved in both fillies. I want to congratulate them, too. Congratulations to you as well. Thank you very much. $20 winner, Rick Zeron. First it was Courtney Hanover this time, lowering her lifetime mark by three full seconds. 56-1, and one, Atlanta taking the race.